This is Tom Mel with the Tom Mel Christian Channel, and a very, very sleepy boy is about ready to pass out. It'd be really cute if he passed out on camera. He might. Uh, tonight's topic is about um, pray, honestly praying for mercy for the unsaved. And Jesus wanted me to give a specific instance, so here it is. I'm like, he wanted us to think, like, of. Just imagine, like, your, pick anyone in your family. You know, you know, anyone that you know isn't right with God. Anyone that you know actively isn't a Christian, even. And what if, a, what if like, an atomic bomb or something was to drop on, on, like, your state and just wipe out your state in, like, in, like, a, in, like, a flat, in, in, like, a few, in, like, less than a minute, the entire state's just, everyone's just dead. And... All of your family members are dead. Some of them go to heaven. Some of them go to hell. You'll never see them again. Like, yeah. seriously, think about that. Like, if you guys need motivation to prayer, just think about that. Think about your loved ones that you know aren't right. That you know, if they were to die right this very second, without a chance to repent and accept Jesus, that they would go. That you know where they would go. I mean, it's something to seriously think about. I mean, it breaks my heart and it really puts me in my place. It, it keeps me in prayer. It keeps me thinking about them and praying about them because I know that, you know, if suddenly, if suddenly, like, you know, a lot of them kids, just like all of a sudden their kids will be in heaven and they won't. I mean, it's it's heartbreaking, really. It really is heartbreaking. So when you guys go out there and you say, oh, you know what, they're they're going to hell. Oh yeah, they're going to hell because they they worship a sun god or something. It's like try. Try try to be a little less. Try to be a little bit more sensitive to people, because a lot of times, when you say things like that, a lot of people it hurts them because they know what you're saying is true, and they're thinking specifically about someone that they that they're hoping and praying will turn their life around, and they're really throwing a brand. And you saying that and saying it so casually, like it's no big deal, like ah, oh, this is just a fact. This is where they're going. Deal with it. I mean, you're you're seriously wounding and hurting them when you do that. So, not a very Christian thing to do. I'm sure most of you guys just do it, not realizing it, because you're just dense. But you know, it's just it's it's like talking about drinking. It's like talking about drinking and how good drinking is around someone who's like an ex-alcoholic. It's it's just you don't do that. It's just a really bad idea. Or 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 talking about how a lot of people how a lot of people commit suicide. Uh, from someone who who had a suicidal history or past or something like that, and they finally got over it. Just really not cool. You, you put your foot in your mouth, guys. I know. Actually, understood most of that. What a yawn. So, guys, just keep that in mind, okay? That was. Um, so in closing, Jesus definitely wants us to pray for the sins of for the sins of the world. He definitely wants us to pray for the unsaved and for the lukewarm because they're not right with God and at any minute like at any minute some tragedy could hit or the rapture could hit and they'd be really really hurt possibly reversibly if they were left behind cuz they had no direction. So pray for them guys. Pray for them that they might find Jesus before it's too late. I mean, it, it seriously is terrible. And the world's not getting in any better shape. It's not going to be easier from this point on. We need we need to stay together, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for your prayers. Thank you for everything, guys. Um, this is the Tom L. Christian Channel signing off one more day. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, say something. <laughs> Fully realizing what a camera is now. Yeah. Oh! Guys, I'd just like to add this part in, and I might add them into every video. Um, if you haven't accepted Jesus yet, fully, and you're, and this is, and everything I've said to you is a complete shock, that's a good sign you haven't yet, it's really easy. Just be like, 
I don't want to be left behind or I don't want to go to hell or whatever. Um, whatever's motivating you, that's great. Just be like, Jesus, Jesus, please come to my heart. I need you. Like, please don't, don't, don't forsake me. Please, Lord, I don't, I, I want to be with you. I want to be right. I didn't know any better, possibly, or whatever the reason. I'm just giving an example, like my example. Um, I don't want to be left behind. Um, uh, Jesus, um, come in my heart, Lord. I, I repent of my sins. Saying the sinner's prayer might be a good point at this point, you know. In fact, you know what? I'm going to say the sinner's prayer, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. Here it is, with the wind and everything. I hope that you can see it not, not backwards and stuff. Um, the sinner's prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Jesus is your Son and that he died on the cross at Calvary that I might be forgiven and have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Father, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead and I ask you right now to come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and will worship you all the days of my life. Because your word is truth, I confess with my mouth that I am born again and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, um, yes, I seriously do believe that we're running out of time. And some of you guys um, might be viewing this after the time's up. So, um, I'm, I'm heavily, heavily guessing that that is more of the case. And um, if so, know that... Um, the tribulation isn't damnation. That comes after the tribulation. Uh, for those of you who are left behind, um, it's not over for you. The devil is going to try to convince that it is over for you. For you. you need to repent and you need to come to Jesus and watch videos like this. Hopefully I was taken. If, if not, I was obviously wrong and then don't listen to me. <laughs> I might make a video saying I was wrong and don't listen to me. But uh, I, I know in my heart that, 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 that that's not the case. Um, I'm blowing the show far, and I'm saying that we're probably out of time. And if you're viewing this after time's up, uh, told you so. <laughs> and hopefully, I hopefully I'm gone. But what's left of me of these videos, no doubt they'll try to take them down. So get them while you can. Um, I love you guys, and I wish you the best. Don't let the devil convince you that you can't be saved. Say bye. Say bye bye. Mm-hmm. That's the stop button.